What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be giving you my top tips when it comes to going out to eat while staying on track with your health and fitness goals. Now I'm a huge believer on keeping up with your lifestyle and having a balance when it comes to the foods you are eating. I don't believe you should be restricting yourself. I don't believe you shouldn't allow yourself to go out for a date night with your husband, your boyfriend, your girls, whatever it may be, you should be able to enjoy your life while reaching your goals. So here are my top tips when it comes to going out to eat. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe below for more videos to come. And now, let's get to it. So my first tip is to look at the menu online before you go out to eat. So many restaurants nowadays have the nutritional information online. So look ahead, plan ahead, and figure out what you want to eat. That way you can add it into your macros for the day. You can fit it in and you're staying on track. Now, if the restaurant you're going to doesn't have the nutritional information, maybe it's like a mom and pop, that is okay. My number one rule of thumb is it's all about being consistent, not perfect. So use a restaurant that does have the nutritional information that's very similar to the one you're going to and use their macros. For example, I always use Chipotle's macros if I'm going to a Mexican restaurant that doesn't have the nutritional information online because I tend to eat similar foods, a burrito, a bowl, tacos. So I just use Chipotle's nutritional information. It's all about being consistent. My second tip when it comes to planning ahead is to be conscious of the foods you're eating prior going out to eat. So if you're know, if you know, if you know you're going out to eat later on that night, maybe cut back on the carbs and fats you're eating throughout the day. Since your meal will most likely be higher in carbs and fats when you're going out to eat. So if I know I'm going out to eat, I like to push back my eating window maybe one or two hours after than I normally would. I love to have all of my foods be more protein and vegetable dense so I'm feeling full throughout the day and keep up with your water intake. All three of those, the protein, veggies, and the water intake are going to keep you full and satisfied throughout the day until you go out to eat. And I'm not saying not to eat any carbs or fats before going out to eat, I'm just saying maybe cut back on it a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> my nose is so itchy. I'm just saying to cut back on it a little bit fill up on your proteins and your veggies. That way you can use your your carbs and your fats for your meal so you're not going too over your macro caloric range. And it's all about balance and you're able to go out and enjoy yourself. My third tip is about making conscious healthy decisions while you're at the restaurant. So maybe you couldn't plan ahead. It's a last minute dinner. Maybe you could, doesn't matter. So when you go into the restaurant, a few of my tips to you know help stay on track and have a balanced meal is one, drink water juice sodas alcohol they are higher in calories and sugars try to avoid drinking your calories and save it for your meal now if your plan was to go out for drinks with your girls okay totally fine i'm not saying not to enjoy yourself and have alcohol but you can totally make some healthier decisions when it comes to alcohol choices if you lower calorie alcohol beverages uh, beverage up if you lower calorie beverage upper, if you lower calorie a few lower calorie beverage options are choosing a lighter beer versus a heavy IPA or dark beers. Going for a vodka soda instead of vodka with like pineapple juice or all of those crazy heavier juices. Vodka soda with a splash of cran is one of my go-tos. A glass of white wine. Those are a few lower calorie options compared to having a high sugary drink like a Red Bull vodka, a whiskey ginger, a rum and coke. Try avoid, try to avoid the higher calorie and sugar chasers and use that soda water with a splash of pineapple juice or cranberry juice, whatever your heart desires. Now when it comes to ordering food, you don't have to get a salad. Of course salads are great options, but always be mindful when it comes to salad. Salads have the idea that they're going to be low in calories and are the healthiest option for you on the menu, but Believe it or not, they can actually be higher in calories than a few other options when it comes to a few other entree options. So if you do plan on ordering a salad, always make sure you get protein on your salad. It's going to keep you full. Ask for the dressing on the side. They tend to, restaurants tend to lather their foods with the dressings and oils. So having it on the side gives you the control of how much you are putting on your salad. And always keep in mind that the added nuts, cheeses, and toppings that they're adding onto the salad add up in calories, especially the nuts or dried fruit. So make sure you are asking either asking to either have it on the side or just be conscious when you or are when you are ordering a salad. 
Now, if you don't want a salad, you can totally have other healthy options. My rule of thumb is to always get protein in your meal, whether that's chicken, pork, steak, fish, get a protein. And most restaurants allow you to have two sides. So always try to get veggies and a carb. So you could do veggies and rice or veggies and potatoes. Having that mix and that balance is going to allow you to fuel your body with those nutrients and foods. You're gonna feel full and you're going to feel good after rather than having those greasy, higher calorie fried foods. A few things to remember when you are going out to eat is that the portion sizes at restaurants are big. They're typically two to three servings of portions. So you don't have to eat your full meal, box it up, Take it to go so you aren't feeling overly stuffed. Also, restaurants love to cook heavy with their oils and start measuring those oils. And about one tablespoon of oil is about 14 grams of fat. Times that by nine, because one gram of fat is nine calories. Hold on. It's about 126 calories, just for one tablespoon of oil. Now, those restaurants are not measuring their oils, they are just drizzling it on. So you can always ask your waiter to have your food grilled or steamed instead of having it fried or cooked in oils. That is going to save you a lot on calories. But just remember, you can totally go out to eat, choose healthier options, enjoy your time, and staying on track. I hope these tips help you out for the next time you go out to eat. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any special requests on videos you want me to touch on, questions you may have, comment below here. If not, I hope these tips help you out the next time you go out to eat. Have a good one. Until the next one, bye.